Hello everybody, Rex Tempest, Time Traveler here. Today I am playing uh, some more of uh, Theme Park Tycoon 2 on Roblox. And today, let's see, what shall we do? So in the last episode, I did some work on a roller coaster. We had this roller coaster here that rocked gently up and down and then one that does it a lot more, <laughs> a lot bigger. But today I thought we'd make some more roller coasters kind of in this area and this area of the park and the reason i'm going to be working on two roller coasters is because i thought it'd be fun to sort of look at well here let me show you so if we go into say a roller coaster let's pick a good one how about an inverted custom one all right so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to show like if you go into it and start like let's say i'll start uh right here now you'll see you have a basic editor and an advanced editor. So I thought we'd make one roller coaster using the basic editor and one with the advanced editor to show the difference and give you a few tips about making a roller coaster along the way. Now, first of all, one of the most important tips I can give you is that when you're making it, uh, the more station tracks you get, the longer of a train that you actually get. So like we'll do about, uh, let's say five, uh, yeah, all right. That should give me a good start. All right, so now we're gonna start angling it upwards and we will need some uh, booster. Oh, you know what? Hey, since we have boosters, let's do some boosters as we go straight and give it like a, some powerful launching ability. And then we're going to, you don't know, no, I know. Let's see how big. I really wanna take it like right up to the edge of the track, so. Uh, unfortunately, booster tracks are only straight, so let's uh, do that. And then what we will do is um, make it straight some more, one more, and now we're going to curve it and we're going to bank it a little bit. And, uh, you know, we'll bank it a lot. We'll do this and, oh, okay. So we'll tighten up this turn just a little bit. I, oh wow they do not okay so just back it up by one and again angle it like crazy oh wow okay so they don't want to ride this close to it but all right now that we're straight let's get rid of the bank and, oh too much okay so it doesn't mind you starting off into a sharp bank, but it does want you to not end on one. And now that we've got a bunch of speed, let's angle this thing upwards. Now, one thing to do with the roller coasters is, like, you can get to the highest point. If you only want to, like, add in one train or one booster, is make your first hill the tallest that it's going to be. So, yeah, this is it. I mean, again, unless I buy some game passes now this is going to be the kind of roller coaster roller coasters tend to be of one of two types either really stretched out long and you know going like that or kind of tight and a lot of like winding back in on, on itself so you know what as long as we're doing this let us angle this just a little bit not a lot because at this point we should have a lot slower momentum we'll angle it just a little bit like just maybe 20 and we'll do a few of these. All right, so now we have one straight piece because we need one straight piece to, to straighten it out. And then we'll take it back down like crazy. And the only thing we have to do is make sure that the next hill goes up is like one thing lower as far as how high it goes. We're gonna actually curve this one as it's going up and of course banking it as well. And all right, so we need a little bit of a sharper turn. All right, there we go. And now that we have it curled back this way, let's go ahead and straighten it out. We don't want it to be too much kind of in this area of this one, a little bit, but not too much. Because we want kind of each one to be a little bit of its own thing. Circle it around, bring it around town. So I guess as long as it doesn't bank, it's okay if you put it right up to the edge, okay. Important tip to know there, I suppose. And now we're gonna work our way, like I said, back to the station with, eh, maybe, oh, no, not that time. Just one or two, like, kind of little final hills 
just, oh, or maybe not. There we go. Now we'll come back into here and edit this right here. Okay. So we'll just have it go just so, you know, let's, there we go. There we go. But now we go into the testing phase. And of course we want to ride it when we're testing it. Make sure you have enough momentum and no oh no. All right, let's close it. And we'll just add in, we'll add in some boosters wherever we can. Take out one of the station tracks and put in another booster. All right, got up the hill. Had to take out a few of the track sections to add in some more boosters, but hopefully everything else has been measured off well, and if we need to, we can add some boosters in the middle, but it looks like it's actually going pretty well. Yeah. All right. So I'd say that that's good enough that we can oh, mark it as open. All right, so now that I finished that coaster with the basic editor, I'm going to go in and do the advanced editor. And I did uh, need to build up some money, so I put some shops around, started this, and then just waited around a whole bunch. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to get a ride. So let's come into the roller coasters. And we'll get a ride that's kind of similar to that one as far as like hanging down, I believe this one. We'll do exactly what we need it to do. So let's, uh, we'll start it right here. We'll put it into the basic coaster for now. And that's because some of the stuff that we're doing is just pretty basic anyway. We'll just put in about, oh, that's probably enough. And then we will go up the hill and put in some chain lifts. Take it all the way as high as we can go. All right, now that we're at this height, we're gonna to switch to the advanced editor. And I mean, you have all these numbers down here, but the main thing you're gonna worry about is these three little circles right here. Now the green tilts it side to side, the red goes up and down, and then the blue twists and turns it. So what we're gonna do is for this first hill, we are going to go down and we're going to spiral the whole way down to the bottom pretty much turning it as tightly as we can before it turns red and oh wow let's just go pretty far all right now that we got up here what we're going to do is we're going to twist a little bit and then in a second we're actually going to turn it so we'll grab the green one here and we will turn it and angle it outwards and continue to do that. Now the one downside is that it always straightens you out afterwards so you know just kind of be ready for that. The angle up and down is still pretty much the same. Now we'll go back up. Now you can actually stretch the track if you want to. All right so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it just a little bit. There we go. Now making sure that doesn't go any higher than the one up there. We're now gonna to start to angle it. Whoops, not to the side. We're gonna take this one down. And now we're just gonna go down hard for a while. And the reason why is because we're gonna now take this into a loop-de-loop. -loop. If you ever wondered how to add loops into your rides, it's pretty much done here, whoa. It does sometimes perhaps take a little trial and error to get it right. But we're constantly gonna be like shifting it and raising it up a little bit more and you can kind of like twist it around make sure it's going the way you want it to so uh pulling it back so now it's trying to twist itself this way what we need to do is to avoid the track hitting the track as it comes down over to here a little bit more uh now over to here a little bit more there we go, and tilt it, and there we go. Oh, 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 nope, not what I want to do. 
Gotta take it up. And there we go. So we did successfully added a little loop, a little spiral bit. And we can add in a little bit of an upward movement as we straighten ourselves out. And start working our way back down. So from here, I mean, we can try to figure out how to best get ourselves back here and aim it into here. And, oh, what's this? Snap node to segment. So it's going to connect the two. And, all right, there we go. So now uh, this time I'm going to put my entrance on this side just for the heck of it. And I'll put my exit point over here. And then all I have to do is connect all this up with paths. But for the time being, let's go ahead and test it and make sure it actually works. And the only way to really test it, in my opinion, is to actually be on the ride itself. So, going up our big hill. Let's see how the spiral works. And... Woo! Around, up heading into the spiral and back out here winding our way and all right yeah I would say that we can go ahead and open this up and like I said all I gotta do now is just put some paths here but you know I think this is enough to kind of say thank you for watching this episode of theme park tycoon and I hope you uh, enjoy some of these roller coaster ideas and we'll see you next time for more Roblox uh, Theme Park Tycoon Adventures. Bye!